Since 2007, the Thetmar Foundation, in collaboration with the Galician maritime, fishing and port sector, has promoted various projects related to the problem of marine litter. The term derelict fishing gear refers to recreational or commercial fishing equipment that has been lost, abandoned or discarded in the marine environment and is beyond the control of its owner. This gear continues to fish and trap animals, the so-called ghost fishing, entangle and potentially kill marine life, damage habitat and act as a hazard for navigation. Derelict fishing gear is mainly made of plastic and constitutes one of the main types of marine litter impacting the marine environment today. The Clean Atlantic project is funded by the Interreg Atlantic Area Programme. It aims to protect biodiversity and ecosystem services in the Atlantic area by improving capabilities to monitor, prevent and remove marine litter and by raising awareness. The project consortium is comprised of 14 partners from five countries – Spain, Portugal, France, the United Kingdom and Ireland. Within the framework of the project, Thetmar has collaborated with various sports diving clubs and shellfish gatherers who employ diving techniques for the exploitation of marine resources. It has carried out a pilot action to locate derelict fishing gears in the Rías de Pontevedra and Vigo, gathering information about their characteristics and the environment in which they were found. This information has helped us to determine which gear could be targeted for retrieval. In addition, the participation of an experienced scientific diving team allowed us to assess the risks associated with the underwater works and the potential damage caused to the environment and local fauna. After considering these aspects, the decision was made to recover three derelict fishing gears located in the seabed of the Rio de Vigo. The protocol included, in all cases, a preliminary visit to the area to assess the characteristics of the fishing gear, untangle any entangled pieces and release the organisms from within. On two different retrieval actions, which took place in October 2022 and in March 2023, three fishing gears were finally recovered. The first one was a more than 200 meter long net, typically used to fish spider crabs, that was located in a rocky seabed, with an average depth of 14 meters. Vegetation was dominated by a luminaria forest, where spider crabs and fish species, such as sea bass and haddock, are abundant. Subsequently, in March 2023, a small bottom gill net was retrieved. It was located on a coralline seabed with rocky outcrops, ranging in depth from 22 to 35 meters. This area was characterized by a high biodiversity, which includes gorgonians, sponges, and a large number of invertebrates. Finally, the same day, in the vicinity of the Toraya Island, in shallow waters, a trammel net was recovered. It was deposited on a seagrass meadow where it was causing a significant abrasive effect. The Galician Coast Guard Service participated in the three retrieval operations. Using mechanical means, it was possible for their vessels to hoist the fishing gears on board. Likewise, the crew helped to free entangled organisms from the nets returning them to the sea. On the seafloor of our coastal environment, there are still numerous lost or abandoned fishing gears. Locating them, with the support of those who use the coast for their professional or recreational activities, is essential to improve the state of our seas. The inclusion of this information in the Life Intermaris Lost Fishing Gears database promoted by the Ministry for the Ecological Transition and Demographic Challenge, will help our administration to build an inventory, assess and manage the fishing gears lost or abandoned by professional and recreational fishers 
around the five Spanish maritime demarcations. The sea belongs to everyone. Help us take care of it.